O Lord show me mercy. Our God is a merciful God. He hears when you call upon Him. He will have mercy upon you when you genuinely run to Him for mercy. He is a merciful God. You may have committed adultery or lied to a friend or your parent, is it an armed robbery or you are a fornicator. Whatever it is, all you have to do right now is to kneel before your God and genuinely ask for forgiveness and He will forgive you. As we go into prayer right now, I want you to stop whatever you are doing. Remove yourself from any kind of distractions and kneel before the Lord your God. Permit me to now invite our pastor to pray for us. Let us pray. I encourage you to pray along with me. Dear Father Lord, I come unto you in the precious wonder working name of Jesus. First of all dear Lord, I want to start by thanking you for your enduring grace, mercy, and forgiveness. For it is by your mercy that we have not been consumed. Thank you for your grace, mercy, and for your sustenance of my life. You gave me life, you protected my life and have sustained my life till now. Indeed, Lord, it is something worthy of praise and thanksgiving unto you. Thank you dear Lord once again. But yet dear Lord many times, despite my appreciation of your goodness, grace love, and kindness over me, I still find myself not walking in thy truth and precepts. Like Apostle Paul will say in Romans chapter 7 verses 15 to 25. I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do I do not do, but what I hate I do. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. As it is, it is no longer I myself who do it, but it is sin living in me. For I know that good itself does not dwell in me, that is, in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. Now if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. So I find this law at work, although I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being I delight in God's law. But I see another law at work in me, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work within me. What a wretched man I am! Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? Thanks be to God, who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, I myself in my mind am a slave to God's law, but in my sinful nature a slave to the law of sin. Today dear Lord, I return to you like the prodigal son. I ask dear Lord for your mercy. For my sins and iniquities are many and they are ever before me. If you are to judge me according to my sins, or according to your righteousness, I will have nowhere to stand let alone justify myself. Therefore dear Lord I plead for only but your mercy. For only in your mercy dear Lord is my hope and my trust. And my confidence in coming to you dear Lord, lies in the assurance of your word. You extended a gracious invitation unto me, dear Lord, and I have heeded. You said in your word in the book of Isaiah chapter 1 from verses 18 to 19. Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Dear Lord, I have come willing and in obedience. Have mercy on my soul, cleanse me from all my sins. Forgive me for all my shortcomings. Blot out all my iniquities and sins, both the known and the unknown sins, the sins of omission and sins of commission. For you said, Dear Lord, in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14, that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Lord, I come before you this hour, with humility O Lord, having repented of my wrongdoings and wrong ways. Therefore dear Lord, have mercy on me. I come to you like the psalmist, in Psalms 51 verses 1 to 19 saying, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgressions. Wash me throughly from mine iniquity, 
and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, the only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it, thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering, then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Lord this is my prayer unto you this hour. According to your faithfulness dear Lord, hear and answer me. For your word, dear Lord says in 1 John chapter 5 verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that, if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Dear Lord, it is with faith in your word, and infallible promise that I come. Being fully persuaded Lord have mercy on me. Having confessed my iniquities, and shortcomings as are required in your word, in the book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 where it says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And Lord, you said that you will abundantly pardon me in the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7, your word says, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Lord, this is my prayer as I come to you this hour. Grant me abundant mercy and pardon for my shortcomings, and forgiveness for all my sins, and things that resemble sin in my life. Wash and cleanse me from every filth, and all forms of unrighteousness for you are righteous Lord. And your eyes don't like nor behold iniquity, and your word O Lord says that without holiness, no eyes can see you. Therefore Lord, have mercy on me and cleanse me, that I may be able to see and behold you, and even seat the assembly of the righteous. Like the psalmist dear Lord, I pray. Preserve my soul, for I am holy, O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. For thou, Lord, art good, and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. Teach me thy way, O Lord, I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart. And I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the proud have risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion, and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it, and be ashamed. Because thou, Lord, hast helped me, and comforted me. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, 
unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Lord, all these I pray and ask of thee, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have obtained grace, mercy, favor, and reconciliation. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. We appreciate you immensely for joining us in our prayer today. We pray and share the Word of God on this channel every week and you are invited to be one of us. Here is another video titled, Our God is the Father of All Mankind. Carefully handpicked for you to watch next. Click on the video to watch now, for we believe that it will enrich you immensely. Also, if you are new here, consider subscribing. And leave a comment in the comment box telling us you have subscribed. We will definitely respond to you immediately. God bless you.